the way this is going to work and what it's going to test is whether it's better to come in on targets versus exit on targets when you have a difficult lean or like a tough position to enter. And those are just your fast hoser targets that you can enter on or exit on. So it's a 12 round drill. It goes, you start straddling the start stick, you're gonna shoot that 15 yard target, run over here. Um, and it's your choice. You can shoot these while entering or shoot these while exiting. And you're gonna set up within the fault line here in the vision barrier and shoot that 15 yard double stack. And then um, you're gonna get back to that position, straddle the start stick again and shoot that one again. So the question is, is it faster and, or not faster, but total hit factor, right? So will I be more accurate if I come in and focus on setting up here um, correctly so that I get the best shots possible on those far, on a far double stack? And then shoot these while I'm exiting the position and then turn and run here? Or should I focus on getting these done as I run in um, and then shoot those and then turn and run there? So that's what we're gonna test today. Are you ready? Stand by. So Lynn's dry firing the entry first. And one thing that's really important to note, we'll play it in slow-mo here, is uh, she's really experienced and can do this, where she's shooting on the move and plans her steps exactly so that look, her foot hits the stick. So her foot hits the fault line while she's concentrating on something else. And then she's able to perfectly set up for just a turn to that hard, difficult lean with both feet on the Stand ground. By. Here's live fire. And she does it again exactly the same way. And then does the drop step back. Uh, both feet on the ground for the far <laughs> targets. That was an 874. Pretty good here coming in. Two alpha. Almost two alpha. Just outside the sea. Did you feel stable on these? Yeah. I just gotta bring my bring these up and then bring these down. Okay. So you didn't feel like shooting those on the move made your position less stable? No, I don't I don't feel that way, but I'd like to try it the other way to see. Okay. Stand by. That was 891. So the setup for her was pretty quick there, but it was clear that she could have done something while entering that position. So same thing on my rep. This is my first rep of the drill. I think I have slow-mo here. Yeah, so after the first target, my eyes go to the fault line. And then right when I get to the point where I have to start shooting on the move, I kind of know how many steps are left, and I just let my feet do the work automatically. Both feet on the ground as I shoot the far target. So that's subconscious. That's just from a lot of practice, being able to do that. Like, look at a spot on the ground, start slowing down, and let my body subconsciously take the amount of steps to get there in the exact position. You notice on that one, I was looking at the ground the entire time, and when I slow down here, I could be shooting. And I do set up stable, but it wasn't really any more stable than the other rep. And then this is just super awkward. You turn the opposite way with your upper body as your legs go backwards. So, it's not that much slower because you are shooting on the move still. 744. But, yeah. Your setup was really was good here. Thanks, yeah, I got that target actually I fixed. It came in and was actually stable in the alpha zone. Just these targets, right? Pretty I'm, awkward. I'm slower on those backing up, like I'm not as confident. Yeah, it's way but easier to shoot them in the direction you're moving. I actually felt more stable on these, although I'm, I'm playing it a little safe and aiming too high on the top target. So, yeah, it looks like that's about a third second faster than me consistently. So, we found out for both of us that we were definitely faster 
shooting it going forwards, but for someone who doesn't have that subconscious, you know, footstep built in, um, it may be a different story and you might want to uh, focus on that difficult shot, uh, getting set up for that first and then shooting more, um, more consciously, backing up on those two targets. Um, but that's definitely like something you're going to analyze on the stage. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. So make sure you're not risking a lot. Um, you know, trying to shoot on the move as you enter and then sacrifice a stable position. Make sure you can get stable after those two shots. There he goes. 